Hello future designers, uh, welcome to another tutorial ABCD. So today we're learning to use the blend tool as you see here. Okay, so trying to achieve something like this. Um, so that said, I'm going to add a new um, art board. So I'll just click here. Okay, uh, since you already have, um, you for you, you would have to create a, a new project. Okay, already have this. Okay, since um, if you've gone through my tutorials, you should be able to create an art board. So that said, uh, we, uh, I'm going to pick any of the stroke, like uh, let's try using the arc tool, okay. And I'm just going to hold shift and then draw this, okay. Then decide to use any size of the stroke, so I'm going to increase my stroke. And then uh, what I have to do is let me pick the ellipse tool and then draw a perfect circle while holding shift key. I'm going to take the stroke out and now set, give it a feel, okay. So I don't want a fill, but I want a gradient. Okay, so I'll click on the gradient tool here. Already I have this gradient palette set. Um, so you can decide to change the angles of your gradient. Okay, so um, first let me just change the color here. So when I click here, it's going to double click. Okay, and then let's say I want this color. Okay, then I'm going to double click here too. Then let's say I want this color. Uh, it's not that you choose this. Okay, so you can see um, the highlights and then like the fuse and also the gradient. Okay, so I can decide to change the angle. So let's see if I use 45, you can see how it's going. Um, let me change it to uh, 90. So 90. So let's leave it at 90. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Ctrl C, Ctrl F to copy and paste in front. Okay. Then while holding on Shift, I'm going to move this here. So Ctrl plus plus to zoom in. And then I'm going to highlight the two. Oh, let me give some more spacing. So while holding Shift, I'll click this and then give some more spacing just to demonstrate how the blend tool works. Okay. So I'm going to highlight the two and then I'll go to Object. Then I'll go to blend and then hot make blend. Okay. So you can see what just happened. Okay. Uh so there's no more. Okay. So what I can do now is to um go back to the objects and then let me go to blend and then we have blend options. Then uh, I'm going to choose specific distance and preview and see so you can see what's just happened. Okay, so you can see what just happened. It merged them. Um, if you want this uh, to be below, so that we'll have, let's say, our light sources at the top, so our highlight should be at the top. So I'm going to reflect this. Okay, so I'll just do this so that we have, let's say, our light sources from the top. So we can use our green here to be our shadow, and then our lemon color here to be our highlight. Okay, so there's the blend tool, and then uh, you can try. Um, okay, so let's do something here. Um, just going to highlight the two here. Okay, so highlights the two or multi select by holding shift and then clicking on the two of them. And then you go to object, then I'm going to let's say blend and then I'm going to replace uh, replace spine. Okay, so you can see we have it replicated here. So uh thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.